Well, hello there, folks. I'm here in beautiful White Sands National Park near Alamogordo, New Mexico. And um, oh, this place is just incredible. This was um, a national monument, I believe, created in the 30s and was only made a national park um, in 2019. So it's one of the newest national parks um, that I would say most certainly deserving of that title. Um, this is just absolutely incredible. Um, and it's amazing. We're driving Alamogordo's right over there near the base of those mountains. I think those are still the Sacramento mountains um, here in, we're in South Central New Mexico. And um, it's amazing. You're driving towards them. You get close. You can't see them at all. You see sort of these grayish dunes. And um, you see like small little mounded dunes. And it just looks like sand. And, you know, it's really crazy. Like, where are the dunes? And then you enter the park. And, I mean, it's, you know, they just start appearing. And they gradually become whiter. Um, and then they're just everywhere. And it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, literally, as far as the eye can see. And I know my camera is poor quality. But hopefully you guys can see that literally. As, I mean, literally like many, many miles in the distance you can see the dunes keep going and then just gradually as you get towards the town they just end and it just goes back into that sort of flat um almost plains like um ecosystem with a bunch of grasses but here um there's very little plant life it's funny you can actually see two trees over there a tree and then it looks like some shrubs over there and there's a few hardy grasses hardy maybe not in the cold hardy sense but just incredibly tough uh grasses to be able to survive literally out of the sand but um absolutely crazy and um, this is not actually true sand. It's it's actually gypsum, um, which is sort of uh, eroded from the mountains and then eroded to this incredibly fine powdery state. Um, you can see it's really, really fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it almost feels like, like super finely ground um, sugar. I mean, it feels like super finely ground sand, but, um, you know, like the like least coarse sand you've ever felt, like super fine and um, soft. And um, because it's gypsum, because it's white also, it's does not absorb heat so it um you know even though it's already 80 some degrees out i think i mean uh it, you know it warms up in the lowest 70 today the high was 100 so just shows you how much it warms up but um even though it's already pretty baking out um you know it's a dry heat so it feels nice but the uh, sand does not absorb that heat at all and it still really cools the touch i mean legitimately it feels like it's like refrigerated almost and it's just amazing because you know if that sun were reflecting the heat back off it would be so much hotter but uh, it just feels amazing and um yeah gypsum sand dunes i believe it's the world's largest gypsum sand dune field absolutely incredible um and you can see with the mountains behind it just truly gorgeous what an amazing place so yeah it's not one of the most known national parks as it only became a national park about three years ago but i mean it still is a huge a pretty big tourist site but certainly not one of the most visited um i, I yeah i mean just incredible. And again, we're going to two more national parks today, Carlsbad Caverns, which is obviously known for its caverns, and then Guadalupe Mountains just across the border in Texas. And um, all three incredibly different national parks, you know, so close to each other. Just amazing. Um, this is just such a unique state. And if you listen, it's just so quiet here. Amazing. So beautiful. And by the way, here's another one. I seen these beetles everywhere on the dunes. And they're all over the place. They're pretty big. You can see. Super cool. These things are tough. They, they survive out here. I don't know if they eat the plant matter or what, but um, just amazing. And um, yeah, I just want to share that with you, with you guys, because I think it's a pretty darn special place. And um, just so stunning. White Sand Dunes National Park. Definitely one to visit. Um, absolutely gorgeous. One of the most unique and otherworldly places I've ever been. You go down in that little uh, little hollow there. Um, you look around yourself. You can't see the mountains. You can't see anything. You just see uh, gypsum dunes. It's amazing. And it's um, it's just such a special place. Uh, really, really incredible. New Mexico is just blowing me away. Uh, what a cool state. And uh, there's palms all around. There's palms in Alamogordo over there everywhere. Tons of them. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool spot but uh yeah i mean it does get cold here in the winter but again that that uh desert desert climate enables it to warm up a lot um in the during the day so you know you have low lows and then it warms up a lot during the day but um yeah tons of palms here super cool just the dunes everywhere all right folks thanks for watching like subscribe for more videos check out my other channel um ancient american wonders i just uploaded a video to there um, so I'm super excited about that. I went to a super cool petroglyph site yesterday, which was amazing, right on the drive down here. And um, lots more to check out here in the land of enchantment. Take care, folks.